Hello, Sister Sherry. Happy anniversary sa iyo. Happy 60th year, uh, 60th year of God's faithfulness for our uh, uh, being husband and wife. Thank you so much for your understanding, your uh, love, and uh, patience. No? And today, we are so much privileged to have a speaker. He's a missionary to Colombia. No? And, uh, the first time I met him, I Ikaw ba yung kapalit ko? Kasi unay. Ang kanyang apelido. And uh, I thank the Lord for His perseverance, no? For uh, uh, hard para maglingkod ko sa land which is not familiar for Him. A land na kung saan very dangerous. No? Na kung saan po ay uh, maraming mga <laughs> may enjoy Free for all, in the na yon. And I thank the Lord for His heart. No, at, uh, talagang pupunta siya doon, you know, knowing anything, na anong kanya pupuntahan doon. At galing po siya sa church po, sa Cebu, no, from Talisay Bible Baptist Church. Ang kanyang sending pastor is Pastor Felicida, no, si Pastor Rodney Felicida, Felicida, Felicilda, at, uh, Yung, yung father niya ay sinusuportahan na rin natin from Africa, si Pastor Felicilda, Felicida, eh, no, Felicil, Felicida, Felicilda. Yun, at, uh, he's a good friend of mine, and also yung kanyang uh, friend, nakilala ko rin, yung kanyang naging doon sa akin, si Pastor Ricky Quaterno, is also a pastor in Africa. That's why pupunta siya ng Colombia. <laughs> Para layo, Pastor, no? So without any further ado, I would like to introduce you to preach the Word of God this morning and to challenge us no, to go and preach the Gospel not only to your place but also to the uppermost place na pwede natin mapuntahan. Without any further ado, let's go on Pastor Rod Sel in uh, Unai, Brazil, Tuloy to give us the message from the Word of God. Thank you, Pastor. Before I preach the Word of God, I have a mission presentation. Uh, may this be a blessing to everyone. Again. Amen. 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 Thank you. 
God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Ako po si Missionary Rod Salunay. I got saved at the age of 14 there in Alisay City, Cebu. Uh, at the age of 16, um, I enrolled in Bible College in Bible Baptist Church Katipunan under the ministry of Dr. Armie Di Salva. And after I graduated, I started a pioneering work there in the mountains of Atlupan, Sikta Tabuk Sapa. After four years, uh, we thought that doon na lang po kami. No? Pero ang Panginoon po ay may ibang plano. So, Pastor Odini, I, I talked to my pastor, Pastor Odini, and I said, Pastor, uh, God's calling me to the country of Colombia, South America. And then he said, Brad, if you are really serious with your calling, you need to resign from your job. So I resigned as a teacher. Uh, I am a teacher by profession. Pagkatapos uh, ko mag-resign, sabi ng mga unbeliever relatives ko, itong sagod sir, private school pang pinag-aralan, pero hindi ginagamit ang utak. Mangmang! Uh, sa Bisaya, sabi nila, bugo! Uh, sa Tagalog, bugo! Oh, bugo daw ko, pero ang reply ko sa kanila, Bogota! Oh, kasi ang capital city ng Colombia is Bogota. Oh, Bogota, if we will not surrender in mission. Bogota, if we will not support mission. Bogota, if we will not supplicate for missionaries. Bogota. Pero hindi tayo bugo. Amen? Ginawa tayo ng Panginoon na matatalinong tayo. Para sundin ang plano ating mga buhay. Amen po ba? Amen. Pastor Ray, Ma'am, uh, happy anniversary at maraming salamat po na uh, in-invite niyo po ako dito. At uh, salamat po sa biyaya ng Panginoon. Uh, actually, uh, natutuwa po ako kasi 28 years ago, dito po sa naik kami nakatira. Oh, kabitin niya po kasi mama ko, Pastor. At the age of 4 to 5, Dito po ako nakatira sa may Kapit Pisa, sa may Aplaya, Banda. Uh, tinuha po ako ng lola ko. Pumunta kami ng Tacloban City kasi may malakas na bagyo nung panahonan na yun, mga 1994, 1993, somewhere like that. May malakas na bagyo dito sa Kabite. So, kinuha kami ng lola ko. So, salamat sa Panginoon. At, uh, tayo po ay nakita-kita ngayong umaga. Sa Tacloban City po, Doon po ako na sinilang sa Tacloban City. Tapos lumipat kami ng Kapitisa uh, sa Nahit. Tapos gumalik naman po kami doon. Uh, so mga kababayan po kayo by blood. Uh, kasi mama ko po kapitin niya. Naga Nahit. Okay? So without further ado, dito po tayo sa Word of God. Narasal po ako kung anong message but... Uh, God is leading me to this passage of scripture. Let us all stand and let's open our Bibles in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verses 1 to 15. 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verses 1 to 15. And if you are there, please say Amen. 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verses 1 to 15. Amen. Amen. We will read responsibly. I will read verse 1. We will respond on verse number 2. And we will read together verse number 15. Are you there now? Say Amen. Amen. The Bible says, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, say to me, thou man, who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man of and if a man also strive for mastery, is yet is he not found, except he strive lawfully. The man must be first like his Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ, the seed of David, was raised from the dead according to the castle. Wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto monks, but the word of God is not bound. Before, 
Lord says that they may be full of faith as the nations of Christ Jesus in Christ. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also be buried with him. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. Of this day, put them in remembrance, keeping them before the Lord, the day's life, and all the words, no prophet, but the Lord, and the hearers. Verse number 15, together read. Studies you should have come through to God, a word man that needed not to be ashamed. May God bless the reading of His Holy Word. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, good morning. Lord, we thank You for Your faithfulness, for Your grace and goodness in our lives. Lord, thank You because You have thought about us and You are thinking about us right now. Lord, what is man that Thou art mindful of him? the Son of Man that thou visit us here. Lord, thank you so much for saving our souls. Thank you for your sacrifice at the cross of Calvary. Thank you that you have shed your blood for us. Lord, thank you for your people that have come, despite, Lord, of their bodies that are uh, tired. But Lord, let it be that you will be a refresher this morning. Thank you, Lord God, for Pastor Rimuga and his family that kept on serving you in this area in Nahik. Father, we pray that they will be able to continue by your mercy and by your grace. Yes, Together with our brothers and sisters in Christ that are here right now, I pray, Lord, that you will challenge us this morning. You will empower me as I preach your word. Panginoon, tulungan mo po ako. Hindi ko po ito kaya. Panginoon, kumala ang iyong tulad. Yes, Lahat ng ito ay dinadalangin namin sa mahal at matamis na pangalan ng aming Diyos at Tagapagliktas, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 The baby seeker. First slide, please. Mga, yung mga pastor, mahilig po sa alliteration. Mahilig po sa mga acronym. One time, may isang pastor, nag-preach siya, yung ano niya, yung outline niya, naik. Kasi taga-naik siya. So, yung letter N, print niya ng dalawang oras. Yung letter A, print niya ng isa't kalahating oras. Yung letter I, print niya ng dalawang oras. Pagdating ng letter C, print niya ng isa't kalahating oras. Naik. Pagkatapos ang preaching niya, nilapitan siya ng ano, nilapitan siya ng isang matandang member. Sabi, Pastor, salamat na hindi nga taga Trece Martires. No? Kasi kung taga Trece Martires, ako, aabuti ng gabi. No? Pero ngayon, yung Matthew Bridge, taga Cebu. Okay? Nandito na yung first slide ko. They have risked their lives. They serve, they serve, they sacrifice despite the pandemic. We call them our front liners. The title of our message this morning Spiritual front liners. Spiritual front liners. What are the professions of a spiritual front liner? Number one, a spiritual front liner is a soldier. Look at verse number three. The Bible says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Bawat isa po sa atin ngayon ay mga sundalo ng Panginoon. Amen po ba? We have chosen our side. Pinili po natin ang kampo ng Diyos. Amen? Amen? Because there are only two armies in this world. There are only two families in this world. The devil's family and God's family. Amen po ba? Amen. At tayo po ay nasa kampo ng Panginoon. Amen. At tayo po ay mga sundalo ng Diyos. Amen po ba? Amen. Every pastor, every missionary, every Christian, is a soldier of Jesus Christ. Right, sir. And the Bible says we need to endure hardness. Amen? Uh -huh. Amen? We need to endure hardness. And a good soldier, letter A, must fight. A good soldier must fight. Amen po ba? Amen. Sa Tagalog, ito po ay pakikibaka. Doon po sa amin yung baka, tinatali. <laughs> oh, pero dito, pakikibaka, pakikipaglaban. Amen? Amen? A good soldier must fight. Oh, a good soldier must fight. 
tayo po dapat ay nakikibaka. Ano po yung 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 pagkikipag-fight po natin? Ito po yung souls of men. We need to fight for the souls of men. Amen po ba? As Christians, hindi po tayo dapat maglupay, maging lupay-pay at ma-discourage. Tayo po dapat ay lumaban. Yes, sir. Dahil may mga kaluluwa pa na hindi pa nakalinig about the Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, we need to fight. Amen. Fight. Baka ngayon, may mga, mga karamdaman ka. You have physical battles. Oh, yung iba sa inyo, may mga iniinda na sakit sa katawan, pero hindi lang, hindi lang nagiingay. That is your physical battle. Maybe some of you right here, right now, you have what we call financial battle. Sino po may problema dito sa pera? Pabira, mayayaman talaga. Tiga na ay masaka. Ako lang nagpataas ng tamat. O? Mayayaman talaga. You must fight! Amen? O? Ayan, fight! O, baka ngayon, young people, yung battle mo is emotional battle. O? May may gusto ka pero hindi ka naman gusto. Ganun. Oh. Alam niyo yung love life niyo parang ko. Minsan sakto, minsan zero. Yun yun. That is your emotional battle. Amen. Maybe right now you have a spiritual battle. Oh, alam niyo may mga spiritual battles po tayo pag gising lang po natin ngayong umaga ito. Napakahirap na po. Yung iba sa inyo parang sumali kayo ng hazing. Hindi na kayo makabangon. Pero bakit Monday to Saturday ang bilis-bilis natin makabangon at gumising? Pero bakit tuwing Sunday? Napakahirap. That is a spiritual battle. Amen po ba? Yes, sir. Bakit po, uh, bakit po tuwing Sunday, tuwing araw ng bigayan na ng ating offering, oh, parang ang hirap ibigay ng 1,000 pesos natin. Pero bakit doon sa SM, doon sa Ayala, bakit parang ang liit ng 1,000 pesos? Oh? That is your spiritual battle. Amen po ba? Amen. Huh? We have spiritual battles. Thank you. Maraming tubig dito sa naik. Huh? <laughs> Salamat po. Hindi po tayo mauhaw dito. What I'm saying this morning is that a good soldier must fight. That's right, sir. Huh? Fight the good fight of faith. The Bible says, Oh, you must fight, be brave against all evil. Never run nor even lag behind. Right. If you would win for God and the right, just keep on. The firing line. Amen? Amen. Yes. Gusto ko sanang subigaw pa, pero naawa ko kasi nakakarilip ako yung baby namin nung nag-preach ako. Yung ganyang pakalilip, parang tinga. Oo, nagugulat kasi sumisigaw yung papa niya. Pero, awal ng Panginoon, i-deliver ko po ito. So you must fight. We must fight. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse number 7, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Amen? Amen. A good soldier must fight. That will be. A good soldier must be fearless. That's right, sir. A good soldier must be fearless. Hindi po tayo matatakotin. Amen? That's right, sir. Lalo na mga kabitin nyo tayo. Oo. Oo. May dugo tayo ni Andres Bonifacio. Oo. 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 A good soldier must be fearless. That's right, sir. Hindi po tayo matatakotin. Oo. Oo. Hindi po tayo matatakotin. Yung tipo ng mga Kristiyano na kapag kapag soul winning, hindi natatakot. Kapag umatay ng Bible study, hindi natatakot. Kapag mag-give, hindi natatakot. Dahil tayo po ay mga sundalo ng Panginoon. We are soldiers of the living God. We must be fearless. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse number 7, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Amen? Hindi po tayo binigyan ng Panginoon ng spirito na matatakotin, kundi binigyan po tayo ng Panginoon ng spirito na may pag-ibig, kapangyarihan, at kahusayan. Amen? The spirit of fear is not in us. It should not be in us. We are fearless. Hindi po tayo natatakot. The moment that I resigned from my job, sabi ng mga unbeliever relatives ko, Oh, anong ipapakain mo ngayon sa asawa mo? Anong ipapakain mo ngayon sa mga anak mo? Matatakaw pa naman yan? Oo. Oh? Ikaw, oh? Obsed, bubo ka! Mangmang ka! Hindi mo ginagamit ang ano mo, ang utak mo. Oh? Nagmi-missionary ka tuloy, merong sure na makakapera ka, punta ka ng abroad, 
kaka-income ka doon, 200,000 per month, pero bakit ka magbimisyonary? Bakit ka magpapastor? Uh, oh, listen to me right now, young people. Baka binibrainwash po kayo ng mundo na kapag mag-serve kayo sa Panginoon, walang mangyayari sa buhay nyo. Baka binibrainwash po kayo ngayon ng mundo na kapag isuko mo ang buhay mo sa Panginoon, your life will tantamount to nothing. Sir, sir. That's not true. Yes. Yan po ay kasuning, kasinungalingan ng Jablo. Right. Hindi po yan totoo. Because the Bible says, I have been young and now I'm old. Yet, have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor received begging bread. Hindi nyo po makikita ang mga alagad ng Diyos na nandilimos. Hindi po mangyayari sa buhay ni Pastor Ray at ng kanyang pamilya na pupunta sila dyan sa skila ng Hillsview at manglilimos sila. Dahil walang makain, hindi po yung ipapahitulo ng Panginoon. Amen, Amen po ba? Amen. Dahil yung mga nagsiserve sa Panginoon, ang Diyos po ang nagpuprobay. Amen. Ang mga sundalo po, hindi sila bumibili ng sariling armor. Hindi sila bumibili ng sariling tangke. Hindi sila bumibili ng sariling baril. Ang Diyos po ang nagpuprobay. Amen. Oh, sa army, ang nagpuprobay ang government. Sa mga alagad ng Diyos, ang nagpuprobay ang Diyos. Right, sir. They that preach the gospel should live of the gospel. That's right, sir. Amen po ba? Amen. We must be fearless. Huwag po tayong matakot. Huwag po tayong matakot. Baka ngayon tinatawag ka ng Panginoon. Huh? Baka ngayon may panawagan ka na mag-pastor o mag-church ka, mag-Bible student. Huwag ka pong matakot. Huwag po kayong matakot. Fight, fearless, a good soldier must follow the orders of our commander-in-chief. We must follow the orders of our commander-in-chief. Sabi ng Bible, No, sabi ng Bible, we need to become a good soldier. And a good soldier, follow the orders of his commander-in-chief. Hindi ka makakakita ng sundalo na sumusulo ng siya lang. Hindi mo makikita kung ganun. Oh, kapag sinabi ng commander-in-chief, stay, stay. Pag sinabi ng commander-in-chief, go, go. Pag sinabi ng commander-in-chief, give, you need to give. That's right, sir. Amen? Huwag po tayo yung tipong pinangungunahan natin ang Panginoon. Amen po ba? Amen. Dito sa church, may pastor po tayo. Amen? Amen. Kapag sinabi ng pastor, gawin mo ito, gawin mo po yan. Without complaint. Without murmurings and disputings. Amen po ba? That's right, sir. Pagkat siya ang itinalaga ng Panginoon. Pastor, may, may, may mali po. Mahala na. Obey your pastor. Yes, sir. Kasi you, your pastor will be the one to be responsible and accountable to God. That's right, sir. No? Just obey your pastor. Huwag kang kukunta sa pastor. Yan po ang natutunan ko sa aking pastor. Never go against God. Never go against the man of God. Never go against the work of God. That's right, sir. Because if you do that, you are kicking against the truth. That's right, sir. Yes. So, a good soldier must follow the orders of our commander-in-chief. The good soldier must be faithful. Faithful. Amen? What is faithfulness? Faithfulness is doing what is right even if nobody sees you. Right, sir. That is faithfulness. You have, you have heard, we have heard the song, Do right till the stars fall. Do right till the last fall. Do right when there's no one else to stand. By you do right when you're all alone. Do right. Do it's never known to right Since you love the Lord to right Do right Amen po ba? We need to be faithful as good soldiers of Jesus And their motto is Semper Fidelis Semper Fi It means always faithful to God Always faithful to their country And always faithful to their family Semper Fi You and I must have that motto We need to say Semper Fi Always faithful to God. Always faithful to my family. And always faithful to my local church. Amen po ba? Amen. Semper Fi. Semper Fidelis. A good soldier. A good soldier. Must fight. Must be fearless. Must follow orders. And must be faithful. What are the professions of a spiritual frontliner? Number one, soldier. Number two, sportsman. Look at verse number five in our text. The Bible says, and if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned, except 
his tribe lawfully. This morning, you and I have a race. You and I are called by God in this Christian race. Amen? Amen. Yes, sir. There are obstacles in this race. There are opponents in this race. And there is a, a, an, an over cloud of witnesses. Oh, there are clouds of witnesses. The people that cheer us on. You know, as sportsmen, that we need to be fit. Kailangan po tayo maging fit. Amen po ba? Hindi po tayo makakakita ng runner na, na 500 kilos. Hello? Hindi po tayo makakakita ng, ng isang uh, atleta na tumatakbo ng 100 meter dash tapos ang timbang niya is 500 kilos tapos may dalabas ang maleta. Hindi po ganun. As athletes, as sportsmen, we need to be fit. Amen po ba? Yes, what I'm trying to say this morning is that we must not be good Christians only in Sunday but also every day in our lives. Amen po ba? Yes. Hindi pwede na every Sunday Bible ang dala mo at Monday to Saturday, manok naman ang dala mo. Oh, manok? Galingan mo ha, tatalpak tayo. Oh? Dapat manalo ka, kasi si Pastor, nagpipreach pa natin ng tights. It should not be, amen? Right, sir. Hindi pwede na Sunday ang hawak mo Biblia, tapos Monday to Saturday ang hawak mo para ha? You are not fit! Hindi pwede! Na Sunday ang hawak natin Bible tapos Monday to Saturday ang hawak mo Red Horse. Ito ang tama. <laughs> you are not fit. You are not being fit. That's right, sir. Because a sportsman must be fit. Sportsman must be fit. The people listen to me. Hindi pwede na, na Sunday ang ganda ganda yung tignan. Naka long dress kayo kayo mga babae. Oh, pero Monday to Saturday ang suot nyo. Come on, sir. Minister. Hello. Oh, kasi sa una, hanggang dito, yung dress. Oh, hanggang talampaka talaga, pagdaan, oh, nam namamatay yung kandila eh. Yung sasagit. Oh, dumating ang panahon, yung dress, hanggang dito lang. Oh, below the knee. Oh, tapos naging above the knee. Tapos naging micro mini. Tapos naging mauna ni. Wak na ni. Pak na ni. Hello. A sportsman must be fit. We must be fit. And not only fit, but also focus. A sportsman must be focused. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse number 2, the Bible says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen po ba? Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen? Listen to me, Christians. Wala ka ng iba na titignan dito sa church, the Lord Jesus Christ. Sa iyong pagtakbo, hindi pwede na titingin-tingin ka sa iba. No, sir. Wala si Sisis, hindi na lang... Nagdadala ng Bible sa church, hindi na rin nagdadala ng Bible sa church. Uh -huh. Hala si Brad, hindi na nagsusulwingin, hindi na rin ako magsusulwingin. Uh -huh. Hala si Sis, hindi na nagtatights, hindi na rin ako magtatights. Yes, Hala si Brad, hindi na nag nagsusupport ng mission, hindi na rin ako magsusupport ng mission. Hindi po nakabase sa ibang tao ang ating pagtakbo para sa Panginoon. Amen? Amen. We must focus on Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Huwag po tayong tingin ng tingin sa iba. Tignan lang po natin si Jesus Christ kasi kapag tignan mo ang katabi mo, tignan mo ang katabi mo ngayon, madidiscourage ka. <laughs> madidiscourage ka sa akin na. Tingin ka lang kay Jesus Christ. Si Jesus Christ ang, ang babasihan sa iyong pagtatlo. Focus on Jesus Christ. Focus on Jesus Christ. Faith, focus, and the letter C. We must be finishers. Finishers. Hindi po tayo good starters. Amen? We are also good finishers. Amen? Inumpisahan natin ito. Tapusin natin ito. Amen? Sana... Ngayong 2022, baptist ka. Pero wag naman sana na 2025, mormons ka na. 
Iglesia. Doon ka na sa Iglesia sumisimba. Hello? Uh, Let us finish this way! Amen? That's right, sir. Inumpisahan na po natin ito eh. Tapusin natin ito. Huwag po tayong maging hingas kugol na maganda lang sa umpisa. Pero pagkaraan ng mga ilang oras, ilang minuto, wala na. Uh -huh. oh, sa umpisa, nagaapoy. Tapos pagkatapos, patumbuhan. Oh, sali ka sa soul winning. Sa umpisa, sali ka sa soul winning. Sali ka sa choir. Sali ka sa tuwing worship service. Oh, alas 5 ng umaga, dito ka na. Nagaapoy. Pero pagkaraan ng ilang buwan, hindi mo na makita. You see, the Christian life is not a 100 meter dash. The Christian life is a marathon. Marathon. Huh? Hindi po ito, hindi po ito pabilisan. Ito po ay patagalan. Huh? Sa, sa, ang term sa Bisaya, sa Bisaya is palahutayay. Huh? Mula hutay. Yung nagpapatuloy. Huh? Yung po, finisher. Finisher. We must be good finishers. Amen po ba? Amen. Next slide. During the 1992 Barcelona Summer Olympics, a man by the name of Derek Redmond was a contender for a gold medal. He started well with the race, but after 400 meters, he felt a searing pain on his leg. He tore his hamstring. Derek Redmond hobbled in pain and eventually collapsed to the ground. As the stretcher bearers were about to get him, he knew he was about to decide. <coughs> Derek Redmond stood up and kept on hobbling, trying to finish his race. Suddenly there was a big man pushing away through the crowd. It was his father. His father said, son, you don't need to do this, son. Derek Redmond said, father, no. I need to finish my race. His father said, then we will do it together. So Derek Redmond, she was hobbling in pain, assisted by his father. And as he was about to reach the finish line, his father, his father allowed him to finish the finish line. And the 65,000 crowd stood up in standing ovation. Not because Derek Redmond finished first the race, but because Derek Redmond finished his race. Right, you and I can also finish a race, not because we are strong, not because we are intelligent, not because we have the resources, but because we have our Heavenly Father to help us. Amen. Our Father will help us. Amen. Tutulungan po tayo ng Diyos. Whatever you are going through right now, whatever pain, whatever problem, whatever persecution you are going through, God will see you through. Amen. God will help you. Amen po ba? Amen. He will help you. He will see you through. Tutulungan po tayo ng Diyos. Tutulungan po tayo ng Diyos. Amen. What are the professions of a spiritual frontliner? Number one, soldier. Number two, sportsman. Number three, sower. Look at verse number six. The Bible says, The husband man that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. The husband man. We are sowers. Amen po ba? Sino sa inyo naka-experience mag-farm? Mag-farm. Nakapagta rin po. Amen. Amen. Oh, dito maraming farmer dito. Akala ko, ang kabite, ang naik, puno ng dagat. Oh, puro isda. Yung tinanim nyo ba? Ano? Yung smokefish? <laughs> Yung tinapa? <laughs> huh? Pero, salamat. We are sowers. Amen po ba? Yes, sir. And a sower must plant. Letter A, a sower must plant. Tayo po dapat ay magtanim ng salita ng Diyos. Amen? Amen. Yung po ang ina inihahasik natin, ang binhi ng Word of God. Amen? Amen sir. The Word of God. Hindi po natin trabaho ang mag-save ng mga tao. Po. Ang trabaho lang po natin ay mag-spread, magtanim ng Word of Amen. God. Amen po ba? Amen. Oh, do not be discouraged kung wala pang nasisave. Kasi ang trabaho mo lang as farmer is to plant the seed. Right, plant the seed of the Word of God. Malay po sa makalawa o sa sunod na taon, yung seed 
tumubo na. Because it is a living word. Wow. The seed is a living word. It's not a dead seed. It's a living seed. We need to plant it. Plant. Plant. Whether umuulan o mainit, just plant the seed. Amen? Plant. Keep on planting. You know, magtanim ay bibiro. Maghapong na kayo po. Di naman makatayo. Di naman makaupo. Magtanim talaga ito biro. Ganun po sa ministry. Hindi po biro ang magtanim sa ministry. Right, sir. Oh, yung pastor nyo. Oh, yung pastor nyo nag-umpisa sa gawain ito. Oh, hindi po madali. Po, sir. Hindi po madali. Doon po sa Lupan City, yung kabuksa pa, kung saan po kami nag-vision before, kailangan po talaga tayong tumawid ng sapa. Uh -huh. oh, one time, nagmumotor po kami ng misis ko, pregnant po ang misis ko, naslide po yung motor, nahulog po yung asawa ko, nakunan po siya. Two months na po ang baby namin, nakunan po. Pero anong ginawa po namin? Nagpatuloy pa rin kami sa pagtatanin. Pagkat ang trabaho ng sower is to plant the seed right, of the Word of God. Wala po kami ibang trabaho that is to plant the seed of the Word of God. Amen. We need to plant. And letter B, we need to prune. Amen? Wow. Prune. Tanggalin po natin ang mga hindi kailangan sa ating pagtatanim. Right, sir. Amen po ba? Yes, Dito sa church, hindi po natin kailangan ang pagiging taman. Uh -huh. Amen? Come on. Hello? Yes. Shout out sa mga taman. <laughs> oh, yung pa naman yung mga lalaki ang kain. <laughs> Tumadating lang tuwing pagkain na. Pastor, anong ulam? Pawis na pawis yung pastor, pawis pawis yung mga member, tapos na darating at tanong, anong ulam pastor? <laughs> mga tamad, prune that, amen? Yung pagiging, pagiging sakim, let us prune that, amen? amen. O, oh, nung hindi pa kayo saved, o, oh, nagsiselebrate kayo ng pista, uutang pa kayo para may handa kayo, pero ngayon saved na kayo, hindi na kayo makapagbigay. Oh, kahit saging naman lang dito sa church kapag may gathering oh, minsan nagtataka ang pasto kung nasave ba or uh, Diyos ang bahala oh, yung pagiging marites dapat improve yan amen biruin nyo sasabihin oh, tignan mo tignan mo yung tignan mo tignan mo yung ano tignan mo yung Tignan mo yung kuku ng ano. Tignan mo yung kuku ng misis. Yung kulay, ganun pa rin. Nung unang panahon at saka ngayon, ganun pa rin yung kulay. Bilukin mo. Yung pagiging chismosa natin, hindi mo natin yung kailangan. The Bible says, the Bible says, mag-ingat kayo sa inyong pagkakagatan, baka maubos kayo. Let us prune that. Amen? No offense sa may pangalan na Marites. Mahal, mahal po namin kayo. O? Oh, o? Oh. Mare! O? Oh, mare! O? Oh, Pinitas lang ng faith ng Panginoon yung buhay. Mare test. Oh. So, a sower must plant, a sower must prune, and then let her see. A sower must patiently wait. Patiently wait. Alam nyo po, hindi naman po ibig sabihin na nagtaling tayo ngayon na nagtagad tayo ang anak. Oh. That's right, sir. Alam po natin yun. Oh. Hindi po may buto ako ng kalabasa dito kapag itin itinanim ko po ito. After one hour, babalikan ko. Oh, saan yung kalabasa? <laughs> Hindi po yun. Oh. Hindi po mangyayari yun. Oh. We need to patiently wait. That's right, sir. Itong church na to is a growing church. Amen. And we need to patiently wait to see the harvest. Patiently wait. Wag yung, yung sinisuruwiningan natin, binabalik-balikan po natin yun. Yung mga prospect natin, binabalik-balikan po natin yun. Oh, hanggang sa yung mga prospect natin, naging sospek na. Kasi pag sabi, uy, andito na yung mga baktis! Balik-balik ko dito sa church. Tapos sa kakatok na spasok, tao po! Walang tao dito! Sino ka? Radyo to, radyo! Pinira, no? Kasi yung mga prospect natin, naging sospek na, pero binabalik-balikan pa rin po natin. Amen po ba? Kagaya po sa atin, may nagpagal. Tama po ba yung Tagalog ko? May nagpagal sa atin! May nagpray sa atin! Amen? May 
kanyang pasensya sa atin. Amen po ba? Kaya tayo andito ngayon. Sorry, sir. Dahil may mga taong ginamit ang Panginoon na nagpagal talaga. Kahit umulaan, uminit, bumagyo, lumindol man, pumupunta pa rin sa bahay natin. Sorry, Amen. Amen po ba? Amen. May snack o walang snack, pumupunta. Oh. Oh. Salamat sa Panginoon Amen. sa mga ginamit niya sa ating buhay. Amen po ba? Right, sir. And we also be, we, we need to also be like that. Patiently wait. Mag-akay po kayo lang kaluluwa. Oh? Ma, ma, yung pasensya nyo talagang itatay talaga ng Panginoon. I-develop talaga ng Panginoon. Oh, sabi ko sa'yo, yung Genesis wala dyan sa New Testament. Oh. Pinagalitan mo agad. Patiently wait. Patiently Oh, yung Genesis, hindi ko yan. Huh? Patient lang tayo. Amen po ba? Amen. Hindi ibig sabihin na na-save yan ngayon na magiging choir member agad yan. O na-save yan ngayon, magiging pastor na yan, o magiging missionary. O ikaw, save ka na, magiging missionary ka na. Hindi po ganun. There is a process. Amen. And we need to patiently wait. Amen po ba? That's right, sir. Huh? And thank God that God is also patient with us. Pasensyoso po ang Diyos natin. Oh, kasi yung nasave tayo, hindi naman agad tayo naging faithful, di ba? Amen. May mga panahon, lumili ko ka pa eh. May mga panahon, tumatago ka pa. Oh, pero salamat, walang takas talaga kapag ang Panginoon nang umanap sa'yo. No? You can run, but you cannot hide before God. No? You can run away from God. As far as you can. As far as we can. Pero manatagpuan pa rin tayo ng Panginoon. No? At salamat, hinanap tayo ng Panginoon. Amen po ba? Are you glad you are saved this morning? Amen. Are you are you happy that you are saved? Amen. Amen. So let us be good sowers and letter D and last, kasi masama ng tingin mo sa akin. <laughs> Pastor, parang nagiging para pa, sabi mo taganaik ka pero parang nagiging tagat eh, si Martinez ka na, no? Huh? So let letter four and last, we need to be students. Student, look at verse number fifteen. The Bible says, Study to show thyself a proven to God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word. We are students of the Bible. Amen, Puba. Yes, and a good student, letter A, must study. Must study po tayo. Amen? Amen. The Bible says in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Nowhere in the Bible can you find the word success except in Joshua chapter 1, yes, verse 8. Nabasa na po natin lahat ang Bible. Sa Joshua chapter 1, verse 8 lang po ang word na success. Doon lang po, yung good success. Huh? You see, you might appear successful in the world. You might have the, the biggest mansion. You might have the latest car. You might have the, the, the highest salary. You might have the highest position in the company. But if you don't have the Word of God in your life, it is vanity. Walang kwenta po yun. Young people, listen to me. You can have all the titles in this world. After your name, you can have LPT, RN, PhD, ABCD, FG, HIJ, and can see. But if you are not sending the church, hindi ka nakikita dito sa simbahan, it is nothing. Wala pong silbi yun. Amen po ba? Young people, amen po ba? Time will come. God will bless you. You will have a profession. You will have a good salary. You will have a mansion. You will have a, a new car. But may it be said na ang mga taganae, ang mga taga-tabernacle ng mga young people, nagsisimba pa rin, pumupunta pa rin sa church, nagdadala pa rin ng Bible, nagbabasa pa rin ng Bible, sapagkat kung wala ang Biblia sa ating buhay, failure po tayo. Amen. Hindi po tayo successful. Amen po ba? Amen. And I'm glad na andito po kayo. I'm glad. Because you have given time to listen to the words of right, sir. Thank you, sir. Study. This is corporate study. Amen po ba? Corporate study po ito. Pinag-aaralan po natin ang word of God. Kaya kapag pupunta kayo dito sa church, 
you need to bring your Bible. Amen po ba? Amen. We encourage you to bring the Bible. Do not be ashamed. Do not be afraid of our neighbors that will tell, Ayo, oh, tignan mo, nagdada na ng Bible. Oh, na, 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 ano na yan, na, naluloko na yan, napapraning na yan. Oh, nabuang na na. May talaga ng Bible. Oh, Huwag kayong matagot. Because after all is said and done, hindi po tayo maharap, hindi po tayo maharap sa tao. Ano po? Haharap po tayo sa Panginoon. Study the Word of God. Amen? Kasi kailangan tayo mag-study. Hindi yung tipong kapag may pumatok sa bahay nyo tapos naka-speak and span, naka-white, tapos may name tag. Hello, we are from this kind of church and we want to share to you the Word of God. Tapos sabihin mo, look, Word of God din. Makikinig ka. Tapos sabihin nila, you know what? Uh, Jesus Christ and Satan is uh, our brothers. And then, sabi, whoop, makutuuya kayo. <laughs> Kasi hindi ka nag-study. <laughs> oh, may tatatok sa bahay nyo. Tapos sabihin, alam nyo ba, si Kristo ay tao lamang. <laughs> hindi sa Diyos. Tapos sabihin, hindi. <laughs> Kasi hindi ka nag-study eh. Hello. You are tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. Right, sir. Because you don't study your Bible. You need to study the Bible. Amen? Amen. Hindi lang po para sa Bible student ang pag-study ng Bible. I believe up until right now, Pastor Ray is still studying his Bible. Amen. At tayo po, na bilang mananampalataya, dapat nagsastaday, nagsastaday po tayo ng Bible. Amen po ba? A student must study. Letter B, a student must be serious. Seryoso po tayo. Pagkat ang pinag-uusapan po natin dito ay kaluluwa, bibilisan po natin ito pagkat uh, luto na po yata yung, ano, yung adobong baboy. Huh? Study, be serious, and then letter C, we need to share. Share. Look at verse number 2 in our text. Huh? This will be our last verse. Sabi ng Bible, And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Amen po ba? We need to share what we have learned from the Word of God. Share po natin. Share po natin. Kailangan po nila matuto sa salita ng Diyos. Kung walang magsishare, sino magsishare? Kung walang pupunta ng Colombia, sino pupunta sa Colombia? Ha? Kung kung walang magpipray, sino magpipray? Kung walang magsusupport, sino magsusupport? You know what? Let me go straight forward with this. Your money, you you might not, you might not be in the places where we are going, but your prayer and your money can go with us. That's right, sir. Huh? Your ten pesos is an investment that no one can take away from you. Even the devil cannot take it away from you. Ten pesos is greater than zero. Sabi ni Pastor Nablek, ten pesos is greater than zero. So kung mag-invest kayo sa world evangelization, you share, not just the word of God, but you share your resources, you share your time in prayer, then we can accomplish great things in world evangelization. Brothers and sisters, We need to become good spiritual frontliners. We are soldiers, we are sportsmen, we are sowers, and we are students of the Word of God. Every head bow and every eye close. Every head bow and every eye close. You are here as the piano is playing softly. The Word of God speaks to you. Would you come here on the altar and join us? As we kneel down in prayer. Magdasal po tayo dito sa altar. Come. And we will pray. We will not hold long invitation. Next is serve. Kundi para po sa lahat. The invitation to come. Come. Mga kapatid. Before it's too late. Come. Come. Our Heavenly Father. Maraming salamat po. Sa biyaya na iyong ipinagkaloob sa aming buhay. Panginoon, datapwat kami may mga kagulangan. Kami po ay may mga kasalanan sa iyong harapan. Kami po ay nagpapasalaman dahil ikaw po ay parating matapat sa aming buhay. Panginoon, dalangin po namin 
nagawin mo po kami mga mabubuting spiritual frontliners. Gawin mo po kami mga matatag na sundalo. Gawin mo po kami uh, uh, maliliksik atleta para sa iyong gawain. Gawin mo po kami, Panginoon, na masisipag na mga magtatanim. At gawin mo po kami mga, uh, mga seryoso, matatalino mga estudyante ng, ng, ng Word of God. Panginoon, dalangin po namin na ikaw po ang mag-bless sa bawat isa na andito ngayon. Sa mga nagdarasal sa kanilang upuan sa mga andito ngayon sa altar, lumuluhod, nananalangin, umiiyak. Salamat po, Panginoon, that you are a God that understand our tears, that you are a God that understand what is really going through in our hearts. Father, sa iyo po ang lahat ng papuri at masasalamat. Ikaw po ang maluwalhati sa aming mga buhay. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And the people said? Amen. 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 Pastor. Thank you, Pastor Lord. Thank you so much. I thank the Lord for the good message. Lord. Uh, I hope and pray na hindi lang ko narito narinig as a message today. No. Maybe some people did nila lang. Yung mga lumalapit sa altar, baka yun yun yung mga magigat at problema. Kaya sila lumalapit sa altar. No. Yung ba siguro, kaya hindi lumalapit sa altar kasi uh, maayos pa yung buhay. Pero maayos man o may problema man ng buhay natin, we need to humble ourselves before God. Kailangan pa rin natin ang Diyos na ating Panginoon. No? At uh, always, no, hindi naman yung paglapit sa altar yung sabihin may problema ka. Pwede ka lumapit because you are a thankful God, a thankful person. You are grateful and you need strength pray sa Panginoon. But anyway, it's our conviction, how can we do to God? Maybe that's our conviction. But thank you to God, we are able to understand the Messiah for now. Whatever uh, person, we uh, can know that no soldiers, and the paisa, first man, the paisa, sower, the paisa, students. If you are able to identify yourselves, yan sa mga apat na tao na yan, ang bottom line kailangan mo pa rin ang Diyos sa buhay mo. Amen? At uh, I thank you to God. It's spiritual battle po ang kalaban natin. Now, we are not battling against or wrestling against flesh and blood, but we are wrestling against no, spiritual. That's why we need to be spiritual, strong, and stable. And how can we do that? By surrendering our lives full heartedly with humility in the sight of God. Church, maray maraming salamat. Pastor Rod, thank you. At sa mga bisita namin, at tandaan ninyo, hindi po ito patungkol sa relihiyon. Hindi namin kayo pinakupanda rito para baguhin namin ang inyong relihiyon. Okay? Because the Bible says, ang sabi ng Biblia, hindi ang relihiyon ang makapagliligtas. Ang sabi ng Biblia, ang Diyos isa nagsabi si Jesus, ang sabi niya sa John 14.6, ako ang daan, ang buhay at ang katotohanan. Walang sino mang pwede makapunta sa kaharian ng Diyos na aking Ama, kundi sa pagmamagitan niya. Hindi sinabi doon na ang tabernacle of faith Baptist church. Hindi ang sinabi doon si Pastor Ray o yung mensahe ni Pastor Rod. Hindi ang sino man sa atin ang sinabi doon si Jesus Christ lang. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one coming to the Father. But before, but, 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 but only the dear Lord Jesus Christ is out of Siya lamang po. Okay? So, kung po kayo ay uh, ligtas na at meron na kayong Panginoong Iso Kristo, personal relationship sa Kanya, o na doon tuting. Pero kung wala ka pang Panginoon sa buhay mo, hindi mo pa tinatanggap si Jesus bilang personal mong Diyos. Kilala ka naman pastor si Jesus Christ eh. Iba ang kilala, iba ang relasyon. We need to build our relationship with God. And the Bible says, John 3.16 no? Dahil sa wagas na pag-ibig ng Panginoon For God so loved the world That's why He gave His only begotten Son Kasi kung hindi na natin kailangan si Jesus Christ eh, Hindi niya nagbibigay yung anak niya Para mamatay doon sa cross Sana pinadala niya na lang si Raphael Or si Michael <laughs> Si yung mga anghel niya diba? Pero pinadala niya Ang kanyang buntun na anak Para sa iyo at para sa akin Kaya sabi ng Panginoon sa Wiso, 
that whosoever believe on Him, sino sa kanya'y mananampalataya? Walang sinabing sino sa kanya'y maging mabuti or maging mabait or maging mapagbigan o mapagmahal. Ang sabi doon, sino ang mananampalataya sa kanya hindi mapapahama? Hindi magkakaroon ng buhay na mananampalataya. Clear? That's why, kung di mo pa tinatanggap si Jesus bilang tagapagligtas ng iyong buhay, huwag mong sayangin ang oras na ito. Because life is uncertain. Ang buhay, walang kasiguruhan. Ang sigurado lang, kamatayan. Anytime, pwede nang mamatay. Anytime, pwede kunin ng Diyos ang buhay mo. That's why, we need to secure our relationship with God. Because that relationship be able to secure our salvation going to hell, not to hell. Huwag nang sayangin ngayon yung malabas. Mga young people, araw-araw kayo lumalabas. Nasa prone area kayo. Okay? This area. Anytime, pwede kayong madali. That's why you need Christ. You need Christ. You need Christ. You need Christ. 1995, when I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord and the Savior of my life, and that's the time, sinabi ko, ready to go. Kahit ano nang nangyasari, nangyari sa atin. I am ready to face my Father, my Savior. Amen. How about you? Are you ready? Are you ready? Handa na ba kayong harapin ang Diyos? Kung hindi pa, hindi pa, hindi pa, gusto kong isecure lalo sa mga batang ito kasi ngayon na, dito na kayo secure natin yung kaligtasan ninyo gusto nyo tanggapin ang Panginoon Amen? gusto nyo? gusto nyo? gusto nyo? gusto nyo? gusto nyo? alamat na seryoso yun na this is a serious matter seryoso yung matter to ito yeah, yeah, yeah thank you, amen sige, lahat mo na nagtasa ang kamay thank you, Mr. Dura Please, please, not close your eyes again. Can I close that eyes right there? Let's pray. Sa lahat mo na nagtas ng kamay, yung nasa likod po dyan, no, kung naitindihan nyo yung insahin ng kaligtasan na ang tao kapag walang Diyos mapuputas ng perno, and that is what the Bible says. Pero sabi ng Biblia, kapag tinagaw ko si Jesus, that is whoever believe in you should have perish, but have eternal life. Sigurado yun, hindi si Pastor na sabi. Close your eyes, let's bow our heads. So, yung kasi ito panalangin, at ako po rito is a serious prayer. We need to profess, we need to confess, kailangan natin sabihin ang ating mga kasalanan, tapos aminin natin, tapos tanggapin natin si Jesus. That's the only thing. Three things lang po. Una, aminin natin na tayo makasalanan. Lahat tayo makasalanan. Pangalawa, humingi tayo ng tawag sa Diyos. At pangatlo, tanggapin natin siya. Kasi sabi niya, that is whoever believe in should not perish, but have everlasting life. Kung gusto mo yun, sulit ko sa ganito panalangin, kaya tayo tapos kamay, sulit ko sa panalangin, Panginoon, Sunod kayo sa panalangin lahat na nagtaas ng kamay. Panginoon, ngayong umagang ito, naintindihan ko po ang kaligtasan, ang mensahe ng kaligtasan. Kaya ngayong oras ito, Panginoon, ako po'y lumalapit sa iyo at inaamin ko po na ako'y makasalanan. Nagkasala po ako, Panginoon. Kaya ngayong oras na ito, akin po ipahayat ang paghingi ng tawad sa iyo. Patawarin niyo po ako, Panginoon. Limisin po ninyo ang aking makasalanong buhay. Salamat at namatay ka sa krus ng Kalbaryo para sa akin. Kaya ngayon, umagang ito, lumalapit po ako sa iyo at humihingi ang tawad. At ngayong oras din po ito, aking pinubuksan at aking isipan ang aking puso para tanggapin ka bilang Diyos at tagapagligtas ng aking buhay. Salamat po, Panginoon. Ito po ang aking seryosong panalangin at pagtitiwala sa iyo. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen and Amen. Amen. Thank you to God. Nakita ko po how you sincere your prayers today. And the Bible says, kayang patawarin ang inyong mga kasalanan. Ang ating kasalanan, sabi ng 1 John 1.9, confess our sins. Kung ipahayag ng ating mga bibig at ating mga kasalanan, tapat at tuwid ang Diyos na ipagpapatawad ang lahat ng ating mga kasalanan. Lahat. 
Basta, paano naman kasiguro na ako naman po ay ligtas? Sabi ng 